Come on, let me hear that Jake one more time, boy. Let me hear that Jake. Y'all hear this shit, man? Y'all hear that? 379, bitch! What's up everybody welcome back man welcome back thanks for tuning in i got a surprise for y'all today i ain't gonna talk too much but i got a surprise for y'all man we're back with jonathan smith if y'all if y'all will scroll a few videos down y'all remember what did jonathan smith um in his nice purple uh peterbilt 389 that was a company truck that he was driving for but now my boy don't re up man with his own rig it's a 379 2003 Peterbilt, and I'm gonna show y'all everything about this truck. Yep, so we're here at the truck wash right now, getting this truck washed up. And uh, once it gets finished washing up, man, we're gonna hit the road and we're gonna get some rollies of this bad boy for y'all. Alright y'all, look who it is, it's the man himself, Mr. Jonathan Smith from the last video. What's been going on, man? Oh, everything good, bro. Been staying busy out there? Yeah. I see you got something new, man. Let's 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 talk let's talk to the people about this man. What's this right here? Um, this is a 2003 Peterbilt 379. Um, it's got a cat motor, 6 D cat, single turbo. Ooh wee! Yeah, 1100 horsepower. 1100 horsepower. Yeah. I paid them over. I'll keep them on the truck. Um, the wheelbase is a 325, 325 stretch wheelbase. Uh huh. Uh, I got 355 rear. Um, majority of the truck was custom when I when I got the truck. I added a couple of few things to it. Okay. Um, I added a little more lights. Um, the field tank covers. Tank covers, the shock bar, and mostly all, all, all the LED lights. Um, the double hump fenders, I replaced them. I, I pretty much fixed them. That, right. that was kind of busted when I got them. So I fixed them. Um, I got the airlines, airlines connections right here. I can quick connect to my trailer, but um, I got them at the back too. My T-bar, got my T-bar, got 13 lights going across the back. Um, we got the airlines connected to the trailer. My trailer is a 2020 trailer, um, Benson trailer, 48 foot, kind of stovey. Um, everything pretty much tried to match the paint up with the truck. Right. Um, and I like it too, because it, it really do, it really like pops. Like with the blue on the, on the trailer to the blue on the truck, it really pops. Now, what's up? I see you got a lot of Harley Davidson. We didn't talk about that in the last video, but you got a lot of Harley Davidson on your uh, yes, on your truck. So let, let, let's talk a little bit about that. What that means? Well, I ride a Harley. Okay. Um, a lot of people know me as little man. I ride a Harley. I ride in the club. Um, I'm a big time Harley fan. Man, what kind I'm, of bike you got? I got a road glide, street glide. I got a Sportster. I got a older model street glide. I got a Chopper. I got a CR one thousand. I have um, I got the just 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 say you got all the bikes, man. Just <laughs> I ain't got, hey, look, I don't have all the bikes. But I got I got the bikes that I want. 
I'm pretty much a bike hoarder. I right. never get rid of nothing I, I buy. Right. If I pay for it, I'm not going to get rid of it. That's um, what's up. But my favorite bike of all of them, between the 2021 I got to the 2020 I got, I love my chopper. Man. Uh, Your chopper? That chopper was my dream bike. Different, I'm huh? Seeing, yeah. I'm seeing 2 chain and, and uh, MJG and, um, and Shaq O'Neal got all them choppers, man. And right. Kind of made me want one, and I ended up getting one. <laughs> trying to redo the whole thing and try to catch up with them, man. man. So you got the choppers and you got the Peterbilt, man. Yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite part about uh, this truck right here? Favorite part about this truck is pretty much that it's like my dream truck because it got the wheelbase stretch. I got another Peterbilt. It ain't stretch. No, uh, 325. Um, the majority of the truck is I like about the truck, man, because it rides smooth. When you, when you hit a bump, it's like you can't even feel it because right. it, because the wheelbase stretch. Right. Um, and the other thing, the other thing about it is, man, hey, I like about it too is, yeah. it's an eye catcher. I it is, it, it, I, I didn't it, it, eye catcher to, to so many people every day. It is an eye catcher. Just following you over here, I mean, the amount of people that neck was being broken, when he'll take a turn, they would just look. There was a homeless guy standing on the corner uh, down the street from here, and when uh, Jonathan was making uh, this left turn, man, he was turning around and he stared at the truck for like a good 30 seconds. Well, so, I do that all the time, man. They got drivers past me with the, with the rear cord, rear cord, and, and then a lot of them be wanting me to take it down and try to race him with Kyle <laughs> I did that one time, a Kyle Holler, he, he had to he had stopped me on the road and got me to pull over. He said, man, he said, I don't know what you got up under that hood, man, but he said, not only it looks good, it, it, it's running. He said, man. Well, I know I got this B-model cat, and I know that cat is running. Let, let, let's talk about that. What, what's underneath the hood of this bad boy? Oh, it's the yellow. It's the yellow. Got no oil leaks. Uh, I'm going to pack them overhaul down to it. I see James Z Cat, 18 speed, 700 horsepower, single turbo. Uh, I got 22 inch, I got 22 inch bumper, which the bumper is coming off. I got a lift up bumper, it's going to be a, a 20 inch American Eagle. That way it can level out with my, my, okay. fender, with my gangster fender. And uh, it's going to have a lift up to get on it. Uh, the airbags in the front, I do not have the air ride to drop it down on the ground. I don't know yet if I like that or if I want that, but um, but I know it's going to get a bumper. The bumper was gave to me from a good friend of mine, right. and I kind of made it work. So, right. um, everything else, majority of everything on this truck that you see that's custom was done by A and A Stain. From the drop panel, from the pipe, from the JJ light, from the breather. From the breathing cover, from the mirror. The truck is a 2003 Peterbilt, so it's got the newer model doors on it. It's got the oh, newer okay. model doors, like a 2006 or 2007. Okay. Door. Um, the top tops are made in the door. They're not stick on. So if you look at it, it's, it's, it's soldered in the door. So it's soldered in the door. It's oh, wow. That's pipes. cool. That's neat. That's dope. Pipes are stainless steel pipes. Uh, they're Chinos. Uh, they're. they're uh, a &A Majority of everything on this truck is brand A and A stainless. Uh, step on the box, they're A and A stainless. Uh, the grill is A and A stainless. This uh, thing is decked out in A and A stainless yeah. parts, man. Yeah. The visor, the visor is A and A and A stainless. That visor is custom. It's like a, a bow tie, but it's a drop visor. I cannot tell you how drop drop it is, but that visor is on the truck when I got it. But it did come from A and A stainless. Okay. I got it cool by A&A Stainless. They, they get on this truck. They get everything on this truck. Um, as far as that, um, I said, motor, my motor's in top two condition. Um, now. Things are huge, man. Yeah. Like I said, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of, the paint kind of like got an oxidation on it, but I'm going to take the other, where we're going right now is a shop to get it all buffed out, get the paint all buffed out, get it all buffed out. Um, I'm fucked with them. All right, now tell us about this trailer right here, Jonathan. Okay, 
Yeah, the trailer though. 2020 Benson trailer. Um, I didn't buy it brand new. I got it used. Um, That's all right. You gotta start somewhere. I kind of put my heart in sticks on here. I guess I didn't. I didn't do it like I did the back. So it just kind of filled out. But I got to get, I got to get, to get some more stickers. Uh, I got my name on my trailer. I got the front of the trailer is polished, but. Um, I was in kind of a hurry, so my, my guy that does all my policy stuff, we, we got to do the front of the trailer and stuff. It just takes a little bit more time, a little more sanding. So right, right. I get a couple days off, I can get it done. Right. Um, my man, Mr. Flood, he painted the trailer. Um, we painted the undercarriage, which we still got to go back over again because I don't think we shot enough clear coat up front the bottom of it. When we got the truck painted, I took the lug nut covers off. I went with the long lug nut covers. We give it that little, little custom look, the longer ones, and got them painted. Um, that's the same color the truck. That's um, beautiful, man. All the winches have been painted. All the winches have been painted. The inside of the trailer painted. The, trailer painted. Um, the back of the trailer is, is polished. Um, I had my name at the back. Um, I got pressure washed off. But, but um, the back of the trailer been polished. All the stickers are um, Y'all see this, man. Y'all see this, man. Big heart. Come on, man. He representing all of the... Hey, Harley, y'all need to sponsor my boy, man. Y'all need to give him a free bike, man. Mud flaps on. I love the mud flaps though. The mud flap I seen you when you was getting ready to pull off on the air it up. They came up off the ground, but when he dumps all the air, trust me, these bad boys are laying down. Okay, they lay down flat. Um, well, I like got. I said, I'm always looking for drivers. Uh, anybody a job? Now, let, 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 let's let's talk about that. Now, you own. This is just your personal. Yeah, this, this is my personal truck. So you also you actually have other trucks, yes, right? Sir. That's yes, out sir. on the road in service today. Yes, sir. So you're actually employing people too. Yeah. So yeah. not only you drive a nice rig, you're actually giving back to the community by employing people, making sure that they drive for you, and they're in well, great uh, equipment. Correct. Um, me, me, and my lady friend, uh, we have business partners. We got, we got a lot of trucks. It's, our company called JLE Logistics out of Georgia. We um we pretty much pull flatbed. We got a lot of dry vans, reaper trailers. We we approve and you know moving the world around, make sure all the freight get there on time and, and she's a very, very good business partner and you know, good friend, business partner. We each talking about she's kind of all the business partners. Man, that's a beautiful thing to hear, man, for real, for real. You she's know what I'm saying? She's a great Great, great dispatcher, great boss. So, um, so she keep these bad boys rolling. Oh yeah, she she believe in nice trucks, you know, nice trucks, good fuel mileage, and she love chrome. She like her trucks look good. <laughs> her drive, and she makes sure all the drivers, you know, got TV, refrigerators, lights. She love lights and chrome. And I'm telling you, when, when we get a truck, we put lights on it. And, and man, I'm telling you, it just. It, more than we do more than any owner operator is, you know would want to do to a truck. You know, owner operator would say, "Oh, well, I gotta make money first. Well, in this business with us, we're not all about the money. You know? That's right. We, our trucks look good on the highway. We want we want the people to look at our trucks and, and say, "Hey, that's a good looking fleet." So, right. And that's, to get up there, TMC got good looking fleet. That's so, and, and I was, you you took the words right out of my mouth because that's so important what you just touched on because. Presentation is everything, you know. I tell people this all the time, man. Presentation is everything. So, when you look at like TMC and you look at their fleets going up and down the road, before you know anything about TMC, if you are an aspiring trucker, you will say, man, I want to go drive for that company just because every time you see them, it's always a clean image. So, it gives you a little bit about the business. So, he has the same format that y'all are doing, and I think that's cool, man. You keep your trucks clean. Your nice fleet. You, you you just brought it up here to get it washed. I mean that says that says a lot. Everybody want to get in this game and just run, 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 but don't want to show the truck no love. Exactly. And then that's where you end up on the side of the road. Yeah. All our trucks is nice, man. Um, like I said this. Like I said this. This is the boss man truck. So yeah. I'm I'm getting it buffed out, uh, but I'm gonna get it painted. Uh, I'm probably gonna do like a, a, a tribute to breast cancer. Uh, I lost an MT. Um, oh, rest in rest peace to Auntie, man. Rest in peace. Oh, thank you, my friend, brother. Um, so I want to do something to trip out all the breast count for people that lost their loved ones. Yeah, you know, that'd be cool, you know, man. Every company ought to have a tribute truck for, for something. You know, each 
each company ought to have one truck to represent something that means something. That's that's powerful yeah. words you're speaking right there, brother. Because that's real. That's real. Uh, there was a truck I seen on um big rig videos and his represent right, autism. Right. I do follow a young man, uh, autism young man, and he he's got autism, but he collects these little cars and stuff. That um I ordered some some nice rip rigs, big trucks. I'm, I'm gonna send it to him. Right. I'm just waiting on. I can't wait till they come in out the mail because I know they're gonna make them happy, you know. So right. You know he take good pictures. He take these pictures of these model cars and make it look so real. And and I wanted to do something for him because when I was young, man, I used to I used to do all that. I used to do all that when I was young. Not only I love the big truck, but I did everything they had to do with a truck that just to get my hopes up, man. From drawing trucks and from from buying these high dollar scale ripples, one sixty four scale ripples. Come on, man. I just, man, I just, I love trucks, man. Man, that's what's up, man. I love them too, man. Hey, you know what else these folks love? They love seeing these trucks going down the highway. So, I ain't going to hold y'all no further, man. We finna go for a nice little ride. And uh, y'all about to hear a Jake break. That's going to make y'all keep running, keep uh, pushing re replay. I promise you. I promise to God. So, we're going we gonna to hit this highway. And... We gonna see what this bad boy man is all about. Yeah. They ain't got shit on this motherfucker. Come on, let me hear that Jake one more time, boy. Let me hear that Jake. Y'all hear this chick, man? Y'all hear that? 379, bitch. Yeah. Anything about me pussy nigga, I be running racks up This money, I'm gon' go get it Can't be in the street starving nigga I be running them streets in Atlanta Everybody know my ass nigga uh, When they see me, they know I'm that guy with that shish Fresh salad, fruit cups, and wraps in that bitch Getting guap, getting money, that's my model I ain't stopping, gotta get paid, nigga don't stop me I be hustling Monday to Monday Kingston, Jamaica, that's who birthed me, nigga Atlanta, Georgia, that's who fucking raised me, nigga I was down and out, a hundred dollars That stimulant came through and saved me, nigga Use that and bought some product Hit the street, ran racked up, nigga Look at that nigga in this bitch You cannot copy me, bitch I stand down to your pussy, nigga Like I bought some that frog, nigga I ain't with that gun talk, nigga I ain't in the killing one another But I'm serious about killing that money I'm serious about killing that pussy Plop, plop, plop when I'm hit that pussy That's the way a nigga like me like it Can't be fucking no skinny ass bitch. I'm from King to Jamaica like my bitch did I done run the racks up I done run the racks up I done run the racks up If you know anything about me pussy nigga I be running racks up
We in here again, y'all. We with the God himself, man. We with the God himself, man. Don't play with him, man. Jonathan Smith man. Ooh, y'all hear that? Hey, we finna take this, hey, we finna take this bitch up, man. Hey, go put your, hey, go park your Hellcat, man. Go park your Hellcat on your Mustang 5.0, man. It's the real deal. Seven in your backyard, man. Take that bitch up, man. Watch this, watch this, watch. This is how you switch gears, man. Every time you hit the gas, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It be rocking. Yeah. Horsepower, bro. Horsepower, Horsepower, man. That's how you sit there. That's that gangster lead. Y'all see that? Yeah, he's schooling you now. Take some notes. You know what I'm saying? Take notes now. Dig in the lean with the gangster lean. <laughs> you already know, man. Ooh! Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This a this a real trucker right here. Don't play with him. That should be something good as hell. Hey. Tell your Hellcat to go sit down, man. You know what I'm saying? Go tell your Porsche GT3 to go sit down, man. You know what I'm saying? This the King Daddy of the Highway right here, man. Big Peterbilt 379, boy. Yeah. have it man i hope y'all enjoyed that man i hope y'all listen enjoyed listening to the truck the truck was amazing yeah stay tuned till next time y'all